Hello and welcome to the channel. Almost all websites today use SQL database and today I'm going to be showing you how to hack them using SQL injection and powerful ways you can use SQL map to brute force them. I'm going to open my terminal and I've already created a folder for this. I named it SQLi. So I'm going to cd SQL back and type. And now when I list the content, you see that we have app.py, creates db.py, and templates. Templates contain just the basic HTML pages. So when I list templates, you see that we have home.html and login.html. Now, the link to the files here is provided in the description below so that you can follow along with this video. Next, I'm going to divide my screen. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to run the create db.py file once. So, we are going to do that just once for this video. So, Python 3. Create db.py. And with that done, when I list now, you see that we have users.db. This file has been created. It contains the, uh, the users for our database. All right. Now, you are going to have to start the server by running Python 3 app.py. This is a basic Flask server. And when I run this, it will start our web login form on the local host. So I'm going to navigate to the site. I'm going to do localhost 5000. And as you can see, this is what we have, a very basic web login. And mind you, the techniques I'm going to show you in this video will work against any web login where you have SQL injection vulnerability present. Now, just as a demonstration, I'm going to log into this. It's Alice and then my password. So basically, this is what you're going to get. Demo user profile. Welcome, Alice. So Alice is the uh, user alongside other users in the database. So we are going to brute force this web login. Now go back to the terminal and use SQL map. Now the first technique I'm going to show you will we'll have to provide uh, credentials, but the credentials do not necessarily need to be valid. So they may not be uh, correct, but if you are trying this against a web form that has like firewalls and then multiple login prevention measures enabled, you might need to provide valid credentials. But for this purpose, the credentials do not need to be valid. So what next you are going to do is you are going to provide the URL and we already know from our login that is slash login, right? Localhost for 5000 slash login. So for this first technique, we are going to do dash u. We will provide the URL, which is HTTP localhost for 5000, and then login. We'll close that. Then we want to specify the data, which is username is going to be um, admin and password password is going to be uh sorry not admin uh let's go with alice and password is going to be uh alice one two three like i said this credentials do not necessarily need to be valid all right then want to specify the method and tell SQL map that this is a post 
request we are trying to make and then finally we want to dump database and then when you click on enter you are going to notice something uh happening right here now it's going to ask us that it's it has discovered uh, an sqlite database whether we want to skip other databases we want to type yes so uh, for the remaining test, do you want to include all tests for SQLite standard provided level? Yes, we're going to click on yes. And I think we'll have to click yes a couple more times. Okay, so do you want to retry to find proper union? Yes. Click yes a couple more times. yes and as you can see is uh brute forcing the web login form to dump the database type yes now it's asking us the kind of sql injection we want so we're going to go with the default by typing zero sorry zero and hitting enter okay so now you see that it's firing up okay so as you can see here we have uh let's go back up and start okay so uh we have table here sqlite sequence and then we have another table here with the name of users and having four entries okay then going down it's uh provided the details of the table so we have id password and username so as you can see we have admin as admin that is the password admin one two three username admin and then our alice that we logged in with the earlier so we have alice and then alice one two three so to confirm this we are going to try to enter to log in with admin using this admin password as admin123. So let's go back to our web page. So we are going to enter admin, then password admin123. And as you can see, welcome admin. So this is the first technique you can brute force web login using uh, SQL map by providing the command as follows SQL map. That should then the login URL. This works when you know the login URL and then provide credentials and specify the method and then dump the database. The next technique I'm going to show you will be needed when you have complex logins uh, where the login headers are complex and then you may not necessarily be able to provide credentials as we have here. In that case, we are going to use a request file. Let's go ahead and try that out. So to do that, we are going to need um, Bob Suite to capture a request, for example. For simplicity's sake, we are going to use the Bob Suite browser just to be fast. I will head to localhost. 5,000. So we have the same login. And then uh, we want to turn on the intercept so that we'll be able to capture the request that will pass through it. So we are going to try Alice. And then when we hit on login, you see that we have this request. Now, what you are going to do is you are going to copy everything that you have here copy everything and then we are going to create a text file and then paste this so basically we are done with bob suite this is all you need it for just to capture this request and then copy whatever you have here so with that done close bob suite close this also then you are going to open a text file i'm going to call this uh red.txt 
and use mouse pad. Paste what you copied and then save it. That's all you need to do for now. Then heading back to the terminal, <coughs> we're going to enter the command as follows. So in this one, we are going to use the request file we just copied, as opposed to earlier one where we entered the URL. So you are going to type SQL map, and then you are going to specify R for the request file, and we are going to specify the rep.txt or whatever you named the file you just created. So, and then we're going to specify dbms, sorry, dbms, sq, light, and then we want to done. Go ahead and click on enter. We want to go with the default, so we enter zero and click on enter. And just as before, it provided us with the uh, databases that we have and the tables. So we have table one and then another table with the name users and then the details of the user uh, table with the same uh, information as we have from the earlier technique. So let's try and log in with Paul, for example. So uh, I'm going to go back. So four, and then the password of four. All right, so here you have it. So now we've been able to brute force this web login that is vulnerable to SQL injection using SQL map. And then I provided you with two techniques. The first technique is useful when you have the URL you want to brute force. And then the second technique is useful when the request is a little bit complex. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment, and let me know your thoughts. And I'll see you in the next video.